Meanwhile, in Turkey, the opposition aims to land a blow in the, to in the local polls. The polls are important for President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's AK party as it aims to reclaim two main cities, Istanbul and Ankara. More on this in our next report. Turkey will hold local elections on Sunday, with President Tayyip Erdogan's AK party aiming to reclaim major cities lost in 2019. But this vote marks a major test for the president, and all eyes are on Istanbul. Analysts see the city's vote as a nationwide gauge of Erdogan's support and the opposition's durability, either reinforcing Erdogan's control after two decades running Turkey, or signalling change in the country's deeply divided political landscape. In Istanbul, AKP's Murat Kurum is challenging the opposition CHP's biggest hope for the future, Ekrem Imamoglu. A tight race between the two candidates is expected, and Erdogan has responded to the potential threat. Kazanmak değil, sadece bize kaybettirmek için paçamıza yapışanlar çıktı. Some people come up who are holding us back, not to win, but just to make us lose. You know who they are, right? What are you doing holding us back? Okay, then who is going to win when we lose? Of course, the single-party fascist CHP and the pro-Kurdish DEM party, which has become its official partner. Istanbul is home to more than 16 million people and drives more than a quarter of the nation's GDP. Controlling big cities and their budgets can give parties say over financing, contracts and job creation, boosting their popularity on the national stage. In the last local vote in 2019, CHP shocked Erdogan by winning Istanbul and the country's capital, Ankara. Ending more than two decades of rule by Erdogan's party and its Islamist predecessors. Should Imamoglu win a second mayoral term, analysts say he would very likely run in the next presidential vote. Many of Turkey's Kurds are set to put aside party loyalty and back him on Sunday, which pollsters say could swing the results. Pro-Kurdish DEM party voters were pivotal to Imamoglu's mayoral win in 2019, and now they are split on how best to advance the cause of minority Kurdish rights. If Erdogan's party regains Istanbul, analysts like Murat Yetkin say it would bolster his pursuit of a new constitution that could potentially extend his rule beyond 2028. In 2019, when uh, Erdogan and AK Party lost uh, Istanbul, it was a big blow and it was a scratch uh, on Erdogan's reputation that he was, up until then, he was unbeatable, invincible. Um, so this is going to be a test for him now, uh, whether he will uh, succeed to get Istanbul back. And if he does so, uh, that means that he will be able to extend, endorse his power. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.